Hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about our computer software called ProBelt for the design of belt conveyors, belt feeders, and pulley shafts. ProBelt is a very popular program that's been around for quite a few years. It's well tested, gives outstanding accuracy, and it's used worldwide. Here's some information. ProBelt computer software. You can get it from professional designers and engineers. I'm the president and owner of the company, Kent R. Risky. And here's our address. Our website is www.probelt.com. You can put in the hyphen or leave it out. You can send me email, telephone calls, or fax messages. I'd be glad to help you. Now, I'd like to show you a little bit about the software on my computer here. It's very easy to use. This is our website. I'll minimize that and I'll launch the software. It loads in a DOS window full screen. And you can minimize the program and go on and do work in Windows if you'd like. Then come back to the software as you wish. The introduction comes up and you can select our head program which is for head drives or return drive belt conveyors. The tail program for tail drive regenerative conveyors. Pulley program for pulley shaft design or our belt feeder. The belt feeder program is very popular has been tested numerous times, gives outstanding accuracy. Today I'd like to show you a conveyor example. So on the main menu, we go to File, get a file. I have an example here. And the main menu comes up. The first thing we want to do is data input. The global page is for uh, page one of the printout, which gives you the basic data for your belt conveyor. As you go down uh, through the page here, what you see on the computer is what you print out. So it's very easy to correlate the two. You fill out your title block information and then you start putting in conveyor data, like the belt width. Now this example is in metric units, but it comes in English or Imperial units as well. It also has a handy F1 help key. You press the F1 key, you get a pop-up help window that gives you information about that cell. You don't have to go searching through a help message system to find the answer to your question. The help message is tied in with the cell that you were on. You press escape to clear the message and you go on. So you fill out this data for your conveyor here and uh, there's two columns, the right and the left, the left and the right here. Now this particular conveyor we're going to look at is more than 12,000 meters long. That is more than seven miles in a single flight. The reason I chose this conveyor is because the owner had lots of problems with this conveyor that was designed and built by a large turnkey bulk materials handling company contractor. And it had major problems. The material overflowed the belt and he could not carry the tonnage. In addition to that, the motors and drives of the system were much larger than necessary. Now, ProBelt does not have 
fudge factors. It is not overly designed or it's not overly conservative. What it does is perform very accurate uh, calculations. So when you design your bell conveyor, expect it to be accurate, then you can plan how much uh, larger you wish your motors or belts and so on to be. Now this conveyor is nearly flat, so the calculations are for mainly for friction. It's slightly downhill, 41 meters. So this is very important because uh, in an uphill conveyor, the calculations are scientific absolute. Everyone gets the same answer. What we're like looking at here is accuracy over long distances for level conveyors. After you uh, finish uh, that screen, there's other data inputs. Drive efficiency, wrap factor, belt sag, troughing data. Let's look at troughing data. On this page, you can divide the conveyor up into as many as 24 sections. You enter the percent load on the belt, the length, and the lift, information about skirt boards, miscellaneous pulleys, and other miscellaneous tension. Then we do the same with the return belt. Here the data begins at the bottom of the page and uh, we enter the length, the lift, number of pulleys, belt scrapers, feet, plows, and miscellaneous. So after you've done that, you go on to the analyze screen. First we analyze the counterweight. And the software gives you a recommended minimum, you put in your number. You look at your horsepower numbers here and see uh, how they are. If you need to change anything there in the drive, you go to Analyze Acceleration. Here you put in the motor size, the torque values, the belt information, and so on. And when you're finished with the Analyze, you're essentially done. You can look at the belt tensions throughout the system for starting, running, and stopping. You can also look at an error page. You can print your report. You can save your data file. So I want to take a moment to show you our manual. The manual is more than just a, data, just a text file on a disk. We have a nice package here with a slip box. We have a nice three ring binder. Our past users would notice this right off because they all have it. Installation information, running information. Here's the conveyor section. And in here we have examples at the back and so on. We printed out examples, those are on the disk. We have a chapter on, for the pulley shaft design and a chapter for the feed, bell feeder design. It's got an index at the back, you'll find it to be very helpful. If you'd like more information, please go to our website. You can download a demo. If, it, uh, if you have any questions with the demo, please call us. We have developed a new way to run the software on Windows 7, if that's necessary. So go to the website, look that over, download the demo. If you have any questions, please send an email. Thank you for very much for watching, and we'll wait for your call. Thank you. Goodbye.